That's a perfect place for an introduction. Oh, was that it? Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, I'm having that pedal show. Dan here. Mick here, hello. Um, right. I Pick and mix. I think we've done the Funkify. We can just move on. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so that was the Funkify. Um, it is a envelope filter, but it has a built-in octava, lower or upper, or mixture of the two. Which so, is what we were hearing. Exactly. So This is by uh, Tsakalis Audio Works, by the way. Uh, got in touch, and um, I just said yes based on the name alone. Nice. Uh, yes, Takalis Audio Works, those guys. They're fun. They're fun. Envelope filters are a lot of fun. Um, it's not as straight, it's not as um, kind of classic as like the Analog Man, whatever that's called, the envelope uh, filter. Yeah, the MXR type one. Um, no, it's a and different thing. And what's causing thing. the drive here? Is that just because there's lots of low end going into the amps? Because the, yeah, the amps, just if you just listen to the amps for a second, this is a uh, Victory V30 Mark II and a Marshall 1987X or XL, depending on whether it actually has the L or not. Uh, no, it's just the, the X. X. Yeah. It says on the back, 1987X. <laughs> So that's the amps, but now you've got an input gain set in here. So if I... So this is the the octava. It can either go pre the right. envelope filter, which is this. Or post. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> right, that's the Funkify. Very cool. Very cool. We didn't actually uh, introduce all the pedals because we were so Funkified. We were. We were in, in the zone. All right, so uh, we have our dear friend Owen Barry. Where's the, where's yeah. the Honkmeister General? Honking for Owen. Um, Owen is a friend of ours, so he was living here, he's moved to LA, he's now a rock star. Um, and he plays with Tal Wilkenfeld and Jackson Brown, among others. Yeah, just, you know, a couple. Yeah. Um, what, what, I mean, what a couple of... It, it shows what a musician Owen is to do those two gigs. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there's, um, there's a really great video of Tal playing um, Dr. My Eyes with Jackson. Mm. And Alan in the back doing his thing. Just, anyway, killer. Anyway, Alan messaged me and he says, I've been using this fuzz, you have to check it out. It's amazing. Um, so we got one post haste for The Chase Tone 68 Red Velvet Fur, sweet, creamy singing, multi layered 60s fuzz tone. Limited edition, pedal board friendly version of our sold out Dallas 1968 BC 183 Red Fuzz Face replica. Mm -hmm. I like BC 183 silicons, I like those very much. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What sets this apart from the rest, Dan? Tell us. Amazing feel and thick, even order harmonic complexity. Right. Well, it has a mids knob and a feel knob. The feel knob seems to me like a bias control, um, but to have bass and mids on there. Feel, updated bias knob. <sighs> You're so good at this. Uh, Counterclockwise, that's anticlockwise if you're yep. English. Um, saturated starved voltage. You're right. Dying battery. Okay. Uh, clockwise, round, tube like fuzz, and everything in between. Cool. Have Schwang. the uh, pick attack the wrap wire on the string
That is killer. That so, what does a great fuzz do? Sounds fuzzy and horrible, yes. But the the, the way it kind of farts out on the low strings, mm. but the way it keeps that real super definition when you turn the guitar volume down, quite different from a germanium fuzz. Yeah, yeah. So really different from the uh, analog man linking T red dot red dot. Um, and there is ju oh, something about silicon that just that really really grabs me. That's amazing. In a super Hendrixy way. Yeah, yeah, it is really lovely. <sighs> Too cool. Well, okay, right. Right, Nigel, Boy. you've got your blooming work out. That's all <laughs> I can <laughs> say. Uh, Lounsbury pedals. I've got a piece of paper here. Um, Greg Lounsbury from the United States of America. Nigel is a multi stage FET preamp. Okay. Which is quite nice. And what's interesting about Lounsbury pedals, apparently, hello, Greg, uh, is that. Um, they're designed to be used not just on guitars but on keys, bass. Okay, cool. And trumpets. Uh, Oboe. Uh, yeah, 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 bass, guitar, keyboard, and organ. Okay. So. Flugelhorn. Yep. Yeah, uh, not entirely sure how that is achieved, but so okay. Multi-stage FET preamp, um, germanium diodes. Okay. Plays more like a guitar amp than a pedal, and apparently is a bit plexi-ish. Okay. Sorry, this has to be done. Oh, yeah. Get in. There's that FET breakup thing that is edgy, you know, there's nothing smooth about it. That's really nice. A little bit of compression on there as well. Ah!
That's really nice. And it has, it's sort of, the, it's like it's crapping out a bit. Yeah. On the bottom end. Now, uh, you were playing, making plans for Nigel earlier. Yes. It's not called Nigel because of XTC. It's called Nigel because um, a friend of their, uh, from a friend's daughter was obsessed with a cartoon called Thornbury in the United States and used to call Greg Nigel as a joke. Uh, okay. Before it's called Nigel. Right, there um, we go. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> That's what I was trying to play. Mm. Tell you what's interesting about it, it has a lot of what we're, what I'm putting into that kind of um, Greer, what's the pedal they do? The fa super famous one. Uh, the Southland, the... Um, the the other one. <sighs> Remember in a minute. Anyway, it's kind of got that edgy, like you were saying, I don't know if the Greer is light speed. I, light speed. I don't know if that is an FET design pedal or whether it's a more up ampy type thing, but um, it's got that gritty... Yeah. ...ness yeah. in it, which... And a like, bit warthoggy as well. Yeah, exactly, mm. exactly. Thorpey Warthog, in, in case you haven't watched any shows recently. Four by twelve, bit of uh, dirty southern. I don't know if it is southern, but that's what it sounds like to me. What? Alive. Win. Totally. What a good day for overdrive. Wow. Wow. Okay, right. Nigel, we are... Nigel by name, not by nature. 
I am well impressed. Okay, we have been um, wanting to get these on the show for ages. Finally, we've managed to track down some workstations. This is the Delay Workstation by Mr. Robert Keeley. Now, this is as close to multi-effects as we like to get. Yeah. yeah. Would you say? Absolutely. Right, so here we go. This is a delay and a reverb in one pedal. Um, Maestro, if you please. Uh, you've got eight different uh, delays. So are they, are they simulations of delays that we know and love? Or? Uh, let's I've see. got the card here, Dan. Yeah, excellent. Oh, you know what's it's going all, It's all written on the front, but I can't quite see. One of the amazing things about getting older is this. Um, and it's just to prove the point, it's upside down. That's how much I can't see it. Do you find it gets worse when you're tired? Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, delay uh, slapback number one, mm -hmm. tape delay number two, multi head number three, analog delay number four, digital delay number five, a subdivided delay, a ducking delay, and a pitch delay. Okay, cool. Uh, let's have a listen to the tape delay number two then. Okay. And then there's a morph button on here that does different things depending on. Yeah, and that can be anything from tone to reverb decay on the on the um, some of the delays have reverbs on them as well. Yep. going to get a listen to this a sec.
Wow, what a day. So, uh, octave stuff, as you've heard, flanging things, just so many options, changeable, changeable, too. That was really cool. Very cool. Ah, oh, man. Winner, winner. Killer day. Killer, killer. What a killer day. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic week, and we will see you. Oh, sorry. Quick thank you to everyone. <laughs> yeah, thanks to everyone thank in the whole world. Thank you, everybody. That's you. Um, uh, thank you to all our preferred retailers. Thank you to everyone uh, who goes to our thatpedalshowstore.com and purchases the Garmin. And thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.